hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so before we move on let's get with the intro hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is angel i'm a food blogger and i majorly create content on food on youtube so i was trying to make buttermilk here by adding vinegar into milk so that's how you do when you don't have store but on so the next thing i'm going to be doing is mixing my ingredients together so i have oil as my first ingredient so into that i'm also going to be adding sugar yeah so i added half a cup of sugar to this and you could always tweak your sugar depending on how much you love it so i'm gonna go by mixing all this together it's totally fine if you still have lumps of sugar in your oil they will dissolve as we go along with adding a lot more other ingredients so then after mixing all that we're going to be adding a teaspoon of vanilla so after adding the teaspoon of vanilla we're going to add um, a teaspoon of golden syrup also i've heard about this so much and i decided to try it it really didn't make so much of a difference in my own cooking dough but anyways so i added one teaspoon of red food coloring i might add more as i go along because i just wanted to add small so that i won't you know destroy my whole color red coloring and everything so guys let's move on just mix that all together i mean the red was looking a little bit vibrant here but we don't know yet until we add the flour because it's white so just mix every single thing together don't worry about the lumps they would definitely get dissolved along the way so the next thing we're gonna add is flour always make sure to sieve your flour guys don't add flour like that so we're gonna be adding one full cup of flour then sieve all that together Okay guys, so we're going to be adding one teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda here. So don't worry, the ingredients are in the description box with the right measurement. So be, make sure you check that out. So I just mixed all this together. I mean, I should have added my milk to this before mixing it. But guys, you know, sometimes you just make some mistakes. So I just mixed it so that everything can, you know, get incorporated before adding my buttermilk. Don't forget, you left buttermilk, go, don't go and take water so as you can see this recipe does not even need water at all apart from the milk yeah so guys as, as i went on i realized that mm -hmm, this color is not popping the red is not popping i'm getting something like pinkish so i decided to add more food coloring but before that i made sure that all the lumps in my butter had already come down so after doing all that then i added a teeny bit of red food coloring because i would rather add them little by little till i get my desired color so after mixing that it didn't really make so much changes to my butter so i decided to still add more to this butter so as you can see i added more and as i added more i could see some changes in the color yeah So after that, the next thing we're going to be doing is adding oil to a pan. So I could have just added just oil to a pan, but no, I decided to add flour also. And guys, please, if, you get, if, if you can hear some stuff in the background of this video, well, please forgive me. Um, I recorded this in a rowdy place, but that's fine. So guys, add your oil, make sure it goes round, then add a flour. The only harm this does to your cake is that the outer layer is going to be a little bit whitish, but then doesn't really change the taste of your cake. So irrespective, everything is still good. So guys, I could not tell you guys a temperature I was going to be baking at because um, I have a gas oven and I usually have to light the up and the down part i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but people that have a gas oven should definitely get what i am saying so i lighted just the up and the down part of my oven and then on them at the same time so i just poured that into my pan make sure you use a scraper to sh um, turn your butter before pouring it into a pan because you just want to get all those leftover flour 
into your batter well so pour every single thing inside so guys i just tapped my pan a little before putting it into my oven i should have on the my flash at this point because you guys can't see what's going on here but um you guys should be able to see the light yeah so that's the top part so i was done with baking this guys did you know that i was recording this video on slow mo and i had to speed up the video in my editing app and guys this cake was not cool before i removed it. i was just so impatient yes yeah, so that's why some parts were removed and all of that so as you can see those whitish part that's what i talked about with the flour so but that's still cool so the only reason why your cake will start to fall apart is if you do not let it cool for some time before cutting it and apparently that's what i did i did not let it cool but irrespective that's all right so guys this is what i have and i hope you enjoyed this particular video and i hope you try it if you try it, don't forget to tag me on instagram and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and also like this video if you loved it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye